to him. What about Ezra, Nehemiah, these giants of the faith who kind of at the end of the 70 years of exile begin to take the people back to Israel like God has promised they would return. And Ezra is the man who who loves the law, he loves the Bible, he studies it. He wants to teach the people about God and about his ways and he gathers some Levites to go back with him to play that role. And the king offers an armed escort. It's dangerous times, dangerous travel. But they turn it down. So Ezra says, no, we're just going to trust God. And he finds that God is a protector of his people. In hostile lands with bandits and robbers. In territories that are not friendly to the Christian faith, to the, to the Jewish faith finds that he's in a place where God is present with him as he lives a life of obedient faith. Nehemiah, he becomes the governor of Jerusalem. He rebuilds the city wall. He's the cupbearer to the king. He's got no kind of um, status of government. He's a cupbearer. Tests to see that the king doesn't get poisoned. But he experiences God's provision because the king gives him access to the royal treasuries, all of the wood of the provinces of the surrounding areas. They can have all the resources they need to build the wall. He experiences God as his great provider. Without a temple, without a sacrifice, without a high priest, without a form of religion, a cupbearer to the king in the foreign nation, experiencing God as the provider of everything I need in my act of obedience and faithfulness to what God has called me to be. 